Welcome to our video of the first experimental milestone of the robotics sub-project of the DFG Research Unit on Hybrid Reasoning. The unit comprises Erwitt der Aachen University, the Universities of Freiburg, Leipzig, Potsdam and the Technical University of Dresden. The experiments were conducted by Andreas Hertel, Nicola Abdo and me, Jimmy. The research unit as a whole is concerned with knowledge representation and reasoning, and in particular reasoning about actions, their effects and the environment in which they take place. This is fundamental to quite intelligent behavior and has received a lot of research interest in the past. To date, most approaches have focused on qualitative representations, which contrast the requirements of many application domains where quantitative information must be processed. Our aim is to integrate both qualitative and quantitative forms of reasoning and information, resulting in hybrid reasoning formalisms. In our Hybrid C1 subproject, we aim at applying hybrid reasoning techniques to service robots operating in domestic environments and helping out in activities of daily living. To better understand the involved challenges, we started by focusing on perception and action planning and integrated work previously done in our groups in Freiburg and Aachen. When it comes to perception, the robot needs to reason about the information it needs to achieve its goals. In many situations, a single viewpoint is insufficient to achieve the desired quality of information. Instead, the robot should plan to move within its environment and acquire sensor data from different perspectives, for example to deal with occlusions. The experiment we are about to show was conducted using the PR2 robot in Freiburg. With the ultimate goal of active perception in mind, we chose to implement a basic scenario to better understand the challenges of the required perception system and its integration with our reasoning components. The task here is to detect and recognize objects on a table. In particular, we want our robot to identify cups it has seen before and distinguish them from unknown objects. The planning system generates the sequence of actions to achieve this task. In our scenario, this involves moving to observation positions and triggering the acquisition and processing of sensor data. Based on the robot's position and the pre-specified viewpoints around the table, the planner determines the order of positions to minimize the traveled distance. In the future, we envision our robot to reason about choosing the next viewpoint based on occlusions in the perceived scene and the information it needs. By building on existing tabletop analysis components, we developed a system that takes sensor data from multiple perspectives and combines them to get a better scene understanding. When looking only from a particular perspective, the information could be incomplete due to occlusions and resulting shadows, and because only the part of an object facing the robot is visible to it. Therefore, our system stores data that includes point clouds, images, and transforms in our generic database during the entire experiment. From each viewpoint of the table, the robot captures the scene at one timestamp and initiates the merging procedures with the data recorded so far. In particular, we are concerned with the recorded point clouds that capture the scene in front of the robot. We load the most recent point cloud from the recorded timestamps and use the stored coordinate system transforms to transform all point clouds into one common reference frame, which is established here by AMCL localization. However, Typical localization errors can lead to suboptimal merging results of the point clouds. Hence, we then apply two iterative closest point steps to achieve a better alignment of the point clouds. The merged and aligned point cloud now provides a more complete sensor input of the scene. This is then passed on to the tabletop perception module for processing the scene and identifying the individual objects on the table. After extracting the clusters representing the objects on the table, the system attempts to identify cups it has seen before. This is done by comparing the detected dimensions of the objects to those of the cups. Moreover, the similarity of an object to a cup is computed based on how well the point clouds resemble a cylindrical shape. This is done by fitting a cylindrical model to each object and determining if a large ratio of the points lie on this cylinder. Using a confidence value based on these two criteria sometimes leads to false positive detections of cups on the table from certain view angles. This can happen due to partial object views resulting from occlusions. It can also happen, for example, when an object resembles a cup in shape and size. However, after merging the point clouds from all the views in our experiments, 
The robot could always tell with good certainty whether a certain object is a cup it knows or an unknown object. You can now see on the left the final result of the perception pipeline. Point clouds recorded from different perspectives have been merged and aligned properly. The known cups have been successfully recognized and are indicated by green cylinders. The system did not confuse them with other unknown objects which are here indicated by question marks. This baseline system will also serve as a testbed for our upcoming experiments and to identify future research issues. This milestone focused on the baseline system with action planning and multipoint cloud perception. We identified several interesting research topics to address in future milestones. First, instead of predefining the viewpoints, the reasoning system should determine the next best perspective, for example by querying a geometric planner using semantic attachments. Second, the perception should determine object attributes with uncertainties, allowing for reasoning about the object types. Additionally, active sensing actions, like picking up an object to look at it from different sides, could be planned in the context of Redilog to reduce uncertainty. Finally, the robot should detect execution failures and unexpected perception results, and this should trigger a replanning to react to the current situation. We hope you enjoyed our demo, and we invite you to contact us with any questions or comments you might have. And we look forward to upcoming videos from our research partners.